Welcome to Quantum Analyst, a channel focused on quantum technology, with fact-based research. On September 27, 2023, IONQ made waves in the quantum community by launching two innovative next-generation products, expanding their portfolio to a total of five offerings. How significant is this development? A comparative analysis can offer some clarity, especially considering that another leading quantum computing company, IBM, is expected to announce its next-generation products very soon. In this video, we will compare IONQ and IBM's product roadmaps and provide context to help you gain a broad picture. Let's dive in. On September 27, 2023, IONQ participated in the Quantum World Congress, a leading global quantum conference held in Tysons, Virginia, USA. At the event, CEO Peter Chapman presented a keynote titled, Getting Ready for the Era of Enterprise-Grade Quantum Computers. During his speech, he made three major announcements. The first announcement is IONQ Forte Enterprise, a rack-mounted quantum computer that brings enterprise-grade quantum computing to modern data centers. With a target performance of AQ35, IONQ Forte Enterprise is designed to solve complex computational problems in areas such as process optimization, quantum machine learning, correlation analysis, and pattern recognition. The IONQ Forte Enterprise is 64 times more powerful than its predecessor, the IONQ Forte. It's available for order now, with expected delivery in 2024. The second announcement introduced IONQ Tempo. Boasting a highly anticipated AQ64, it stands as the most formidable machine in IONQ's product lineup. Its capabilities surpass what classical computers and GPUs can simulate, offering a computational space that's a staggering 536 million times greater than the IONQ Forte Enterprise. This represents a monumental leap in computational prowess. Orders are now open, with delivery anticipated in 2025. The third announcement highlighted a fresh $25.5 million quantum agreement with the United States Air Force Research Lab, AFRL. Under this deal, IONQ will deploy two barium-based trapped ion quantum computing systems to support the AFRL's research in quantum networking and application development. This new agreement builds upon a previous one. Just a year ago, in September 2022, IONQ revealed a $13.4 million contract to supply quantum solutions to the AFRL. With this year's deal, IONQ will not only deliver but also install the systems at the AFRL's facility in Rome, New York. With the introduction of Forte Enterprise and Tempo, IONQ's product line now boasts a total of five offerings. IONQ is set to provide an update on their technical roadmap in an upcoming webinar this October. Stay tuned for more details. Among the companies venturing into quantum computing, only IONQ and IBM have successfully launched commercial product lines. So, how do they measure up when compared head-to-head? -head? As a leading force in the quantum computing arena, IBM has consistently made significant advancements. Over the past few years, their launches have included Falcon with 27 qubits in 2019 Hummingbird with 65 qubits in 2020 Eagle with 127 qubits in 2021. Osprey with 433 qubits in 2022. For 2023, IBM has plans to launch the Condor with 1,121 qubits in the Heron, which will feature multiple modules of 133 qubits each. Looking further ahead, their vision for 2026 and beyond is to scale up to a range of 10,000 to 100,000 qubits, integrating both classical and quantum communication. In terms of commercial quantum system, IBM launched their first product in January 2019, IBM Quantum System 1. IBM has invested significant resources into the design of System 1. Given the extreme sensitivity of qubits to even the minutest vibrations, temperature fluctuations, or electromagnetic disturbances, IBM employed a meticulous approach. They encased the system within a 9-foot square enclosure made of special half-inch thick glass. This sealed, airtight chamber is further bolstered by independent aluminum and steel frames, ensuring optimal isolation of system components for enhanced performance. When it comes to their quantum computing processors, IBM's journey began with the 27-qubit Falcon processor. This was subsequently succeeded by the 65-qubit Hummingbird processor, followed by the 127-qubit Eagle processor. 
As of now, IBM has rolled out over 20 systems worldwide, serving over 200 organizations and catering to upwards of 450,000 users. Notably, in 2023, they accelerated their expansion by establishing a presence in Japan, Germany, Spain, and Canada. At the IBM Quantum Summit in November 2022, the company unveiled its next-generation machine, the IBM Quantum System 2. This system is designed to be both modular and flexible, integrating multiple processors into a single system with communication links. The design is extensible, supporting up to 4,158 qubits when additional control racks are added. Its modularity allows for the connection of multiple Quantum System 2s using cryostats with long-range couplers, linking the processors. This setup supports up to 8,316 qubits with two systems, and an impressive 16,632 qubits with three systems. IBM envisions this system as a foundational building block for quantum-centric supercomputing, heralding the next wave in quantum computing. It's slated to be operational by the end of 2023. With IONQ set to release the Forte Enterprise in 2024 and the Tempo in 2025, and IBM gearing up to launch the Quantum System 2 by year's end, how do these next-generation machines stack up against each other? Let's delve into a comparative analysis across five dimensions. Number 1. Roadmap. Both companies have showcased ambitious long-term goals complemented by clear, actionable roadmaps. Their track records demonstrate consistent delivery on their promises. In this regard, both IONQ and IBM stand out as industry leaders. Number 2. Hardware. While each company has opted for distinct technological paths, both have exhibited remarkable year-on-year -year advancements. Given the absence of a universally accepted industry standard and the lack of definitive, killer applications, for quantum computing, it's premature to declare a front-runner. However, as the market evolves, clearer distinctions will emerge. Number 3. Software. Software is pivotal in harnessing the true potential of quantum computers. Here, IBM holds an edge over IONQ, having invested years in developing quantum-related software, including circuits, Qiskit runtime, and various quantum algorithms and application modules. IONQ, though, is building its software capabilities, too. Number 4. User Network and Ecosystem. IBM has a slight lead in this domain. With over 20 systems deployed globally and a vast user base, IBM's established stature allows it to tap into a broader existing clientele. Number 5. Financials. IBM has about $10 billion annual free cash flow, equips it with the financial muscle to aggressively expand its global quantum strategy, building a first-mover advantage. As we've seen that in this year, IBM has accelerated its system's global deployment. In conclusion, the quantum realm is vast, with ample room for multiple giants. As the industry is still in its infancy, it's heartening to witness both IONQ and IBM making significant progress with their next-gen systems. That concludes today's video. Please leave any comments or feedback below. If you feel you've learned something new, please like and subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated and will help me continue creating content. Thank you.